Welcome to the Securing Your Seller Account series. It is important to protect yourself from phishing attacks as fraudsters might attempt to steal your personal, financial, or other sensitive information. In this video, you'll learn what phishing is, how to protect yourself from phishing, and how to recover from a phishing attack. You might receive emails from Amazon. However, sometimes you may receive emails that are not really from Amazon, even if at first glance they appear to be. Instead, such emails are faked in an attempt to get you to reveal sensitive account or banking information. These fake emails, or what's called spoofed or phishing emails, look similar to legitimate emails from Amazon. Often, these emails direct you to a false website that looks similar to an Amazon website, where you might be asked to give account information such as your email address and password combination. Remember, Amazon never asks you to verify sensitive information via email. Only enter information when completing an order on our website, registering to sell on Amazon, or updating account information in Seller Central. To protect yourself from responding to these emails, you can follow some simple rules. Number one, know what Amazon won't ask in email. Amazon will not ask you for your bank account information, credit card number, PIN, your Seller Central account password, or credit card security code via email. Instead, Amazon will always ask you to update credit card details or account information via Seller Central. Number two, review the email for grammatical or typographical errors. Watch for poor grammar or typographical errors. Many phishing emails are translated from other languages or are sent without being proofread. Number three, check the return address. Genuine emails from Amazon.com always come from an address ending in at Amazon.com. Check the email's header information. If the received from, reply to, or return path for the email does not come from at Amazon.com, it is not from Amazon. The method you use to check the header information varies depending upon the email program you use. The following are some examples of fraudulent return addresses. Seller dash performance at payments dash amazon dot com amazon dash security at hotmail dot com or amazon dash payments at msn dot com number four review the email for mismatched hyperlinks at address some phishing emails include a hyperlink or a button that looks as though it will take you to your amazon account However, if you hover your mouse over the link, you often can see the underlying false website address, either as a pop-up or as information in the browser status bar. When in doubt, do not click on the links in the email. Instead, open a new window and go directly to Amazon.com or the Seller Central website. Number 5. Check the website address. Some fishers set up spoofed websites that look similar to the Amazon website and use the word Amazon somewhere in the URL. We will never use a combination such as security-amazon.com or amazon.com.biz in the URL. Genuine Amazon website URLs always end with .amazon.com or sellercentral.amazon.com. Always check that the URL starts with HTTPS and is preceded by a secure lock icon. If you've entered your password on what you think might be a malicious website, then change your password on Amazon.com immediately. To do that, go to the Amazon.com sign-in page and click on forgot your password. If you've entered your credit card information on what you think might be a malicious website or replied to an email with that information, immediately contact your credit card company. Note, if you receive a new replacement card, then don't forget to update your new card on Amazon.com. 
Amazon takes phishing attempts very seriously. To report a suspicious email or learn more about phishing, go to amazon.com forward slash security. Thank you.